Happy birthday from Matt and Nat. One year we are celebrating on YouTube. Yay! So probably the fanciest place we've ever eaten at. We're just getting older. Soon enough it'll be too late to act. Let's do it again. Let's ride on that wave to go. I'll wait for your call. We've been waiting in line for this delicious. <laughs> Kara was supposed to be in that shot. She hasn't been in our videos for quite a while. No. Uh, we've just been finishing off Destination Marlborough uh, Summer Saga and we recently got married, which is a video that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Or pro pro hopefully next week if I can get it up. Uh, <laughs> we thought what a better way to celebrate than to take you guys to Harling Park. This is a park that I grew up with uh, living in Blenheim and the hills up there were a staple of any Blenheim kid growing up. You cardboard slide down that hill and we're going to be trying a little bit of that. So we got you guys to ask us some questions uh, and we're actually going to give you the answers today. Oh, Alright, so without further ado, let's get into it. And I never feel sorry here at top of the world. This Japanese garden here was actually gifted to the town of Blenheim by its sister city in Japan and I believe it's called Nintendo? I think it's called something it's like Tendo, Tendo Japan. We will read about it and it's just a really gorgeous little place to come. It is quite nice and it's a bit of a hidden gem in Blenheim. Tendo. See? I did say Tendo, Tendo Japan. If you live in Blenheim you know that this place is pretty special and if you don't live in Blenheim then you don't know about this place. But a lot of Blenheimites actually do not know about Harling Park at all. Some people have lived there their whole lives, didn't even know this was here. Look at that cool little waterfall. Now it's time for our Q&A. We asked on social media for your guys' questions so we could answer them in this video and boy were we flooded with the amount of questions. Thank you to the two people that gave us questions. <laughs> Alright, so we have a top fan, Nicola Catherine, who asked, would love you guys to visit Winton. I did some of my primary schooling there and we lived at 18, Mc oh, probably shouldn't mention the street name. <laughs> she says, my husband and I traveled down there to see it and it looks nothing like it did when I was little. Also, are you planning on walking the Milford track? That would be cool to see. Yeah. That would be cool to see. And we definitely have tracks and walks and hikes in our near future after my lovely wife here gets her hip operated on and sorted out. That first part of that I don't feel like was a, really a question. <laughs> More of a, just a sort of a statement. <laughs> well, we I used to live here. <laughs> but nonetheless, thank you for sending that in. And she also goes on to say, also, there is a beach down south that is called Gemstone Beach. Lots of beautifully coloured stones. Not really sounding like a question. There is also the petrified forest in the Catlins. I know these aren't really questions, <laughs> just ideas 
for next trip maybe. Hey, anything's a possibility. And we've just finished doing our honeymoon. So the honeymoon saga will be up after the sort of the wedding videos get out of the way. That we would love to do another trip of the South Island. Yeah, we did want to go to the uh, to Milford Sound and the Catlins, but um, we just we ran out of time. We were just driving. We would have been driving every day, and as it was, we pretty much were anyway. Yeah. But yeah, we we had a few things we wanted to do. We will get there. Yeah, we'll get back to those cool places next. Question. Okay, so we got uh, quite a few questions from Chris Hunt, who sent these in. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Not Ghostbusters. Not us, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't call us. Uh, what's the best thing about being married? Wow, that's a quite a good question, because we did just recently get married five, five weeks ago. Um, I would say that the best thing for me about being married to Nat is, um, being married to sort of like your best friend, you get to spend time with them and have all these cool adventures. I, I think it's like a, it's a really cool, adve biggest adventure I've ever been on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. It's it's one thing. I know he's legally required to uh, be with me, so <laughs> um, and knowing, especially going in for my surgery on Tuesday, knowing that he's there for me. Um, you know, he's my next of kin. He says also. What is Nat's favorite movie? Oh my God, now everyone, I can never answer this question. because It's I have a bit different... like picking your favorite child. Yeah, that, Nicholas. <laughs> I, could, I should have said Kara, but Kira. She's, she's been a bit naughty lately. So, um, um, no, it's, I've got different favorite films in, in different genres. So, you know, E.T., of course. Gosh, don't look at me, I'm you know the think. answers. I don't actually, I don't know how to answer this one because I have so many favourites. The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I love The Wizard of Oz. I love Grease. Um, musicals, pretty much. The old school horrors like, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street. The Outsiders. Anyone in my generation will know that film. Pony Boy, Soda Pop, all those sort of characters. What's Matt's favourite movie? All right, so this is like, it's a tie between The Godfather Part 2 and The Dark Knight. Mine's, mine's fairly... So I have a lot of favourite movies, but those two stand out. Um, is Pivink <laughs> really a colour? Pivink? No, <laughs> I would say no. Uh, oh, hang on. Is pink really a colour? So it pink looks like there was a typo. Technically a shade. Pink is one of my favourite like colours. all colours, uh, all shades or something. I don't know, the artistic fancy dancy reasons behind that, but everything is just a shade and it's only the light that refracts off different shades to make give it that sort of hue. In nature, I don't know. I would scientist Matthew here. Yeah, pearls of wisdom. I would say yes. I wear a lot of it, so I'm going to say yes too. <laughs> Something. And that's all the questions we have. So thank you for sending those in. Next time we do one, uh, we do encourage all of you to <laughs> step up a bit and ask us a bit more. So now, only one thing left to do: cardboard sliding. So this is how it works. Every kid in Glenham, if you grew up here, this is something you do. Cardboard on the hill. And boom. <laughs> Please don't fall and hurt yourself. Oh. Nope. <laughs> That's sliding without the cardboard. Kid. Cool thing about this place is they've got a cardboard recycling bin just over there so when you're finished, chuck it in. So I think we're finished here for the day. Thank you to everyone who supported us over the last year. We love you guys.
after a whole year of YouTube, thank you for all of your support. Every like and comment, we really appreciate it, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Traditionally, you finish this with a, if you thought this video was tight, leave us a like. This ain't no bribe. Please subscribe. And hey, what the hell? Good girl. And we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye. Bye.